Yo, what is up guys? It is Simul here back with another Epic 7 Should You Pull video for you guys today. And today we're going to be talking about the Mystic Banner that's coming after Conqueror Lilius featuring Remnant Violet and Challenger Dominion. Now these two units are going to be coming out on the 13th of January, which is about 4-5 to five days as of this video's release. And on the first week of the rotation, it will also feature Bomb Model Kana and Dux Noctis as the 5-star artifact. And we'll talk about those in a bit as well. So Remnant Violet, just to go over his skills, he's very similar to Green Violet and what he does. You'll see that his S3 is a single target nuke, but this one will penetrate defense, so it makes it better versus tanks. And it will still also pretty much one-shot squishies, but notice that the cooldown is very, very long. This one will also give him an attack buff, so instead of Moonlight Dream Blade, which gives you attack buff, you're going to be better off running different artifacts on him, such as Violet Talisman and uh, Shepherd Apollo and stuff like that. Next, we have Concentration as S2. It is going to be the evasion effect that Green Violet has as well. This one is a buff instead of just a built-in passive, and that will make it so it's a 50% evasion buff instead of 35, but this is also strippable and able to be blocked by unbuffable as well, so it is stronger and weaker in some aspects, and honestly in this current meta it is definitely weaker because there's a lot of dispellers, unbuffables, it's just really really hard to keep buffs up right now, especially if you're not running a super high ER build on that unit. And Remnant Violet will not be running effect resist at all. You'll also see when he evades, he gets one focus, and when he gets five focus, he uses it all and uses his S3 against a random enemy. Now you'll pretty much you'll see that instead of um, ML Violet countering like Green Violet does with his S1, what he does is he has to build up the stacks from dodging and S3. So if he doesn't dodge, he's screwed, kind of like Green Violet, but it's kind of more harder for Remnant Violet because it's really easy to strip the evasion buff and you can basically just S3 him with like a Falcon or Clurry, a free to play unit, and he's pretty much useless and you can one shot him. So yeah, pretty pretty hard to use him in the current meta honestly as you can see, but yeah, his S1 is going to be basic attack. Um, it, it is a decreased hit chance instead of decreased attack and you'll see that it will not proc when you dodge unlike Green Violet. So Green Violet will automatically counter every single time he dodges. Remnant Violet really relies on getting the 5 stacks and S3. So honestly, ML Violet is not that great like he's not awful like god awful like i don't think he's bad to the point where he needs buffs but he's definitely not strong like i said there's too many dispels in the game basically everything has a dispel right like you have summertime hysteria that can just s1 him and strip his evasion even if she misses you have aol you have bellion you have rem if she counters and she hits his evasion's gone and he's basically going to get one shot the next turn like there's just too many effects in the game that strip buffs so it's really hard to use remnant violet because yeah, his evasion gets stripped, he's pretty much useless. You can you can build him tankier to counteract this, but then his S3 doesn't do as much damage, and yeah, you're still going to get not be able to counterattack because you, you need to evade, right? The thing is with, with ML Violet is you need to evade to be able to do anything. With Green Violet, even if you don't evade sometimes, um, you're still fine because he has his S2 and his S3. And also Green Violet is easier to gear compared to ML Violet because you have Perception, which gives you crit chance and crit damage. So there's just a lot of benefits of Green Violet over ML Violet. Would I go to the point to say that Green Violet is better than his ML counterpart at the moment? Yes, for sure he's better. He has less counters. And honestly, just being reliant on an evasion buff is really hard in this current meta. Um, you'll see with like Milim if you use her a lot, sometimes her buff gets stripped and she gets one shot. Yep, same thing with ML Violet, guys. Except that Milim does a little bit more with her S3. But yeah, Remnant Violet... I don't think he's worth pulling for, honestly, over Conqueror Lilius. If you guys are not even close to Pity and you have Mystics left over, I would say just pull on Conqueror Lilius right now. Honestly, the current rotation for Conqueror Lilius is the best one that was in her rotation. So you have Tenebria, um, and obviously Cradle of Life is not that great compared to other artifacts, but Tenebria is a very, very good unit for PvE, and her imprints are very good because you can imprint Fairy Tale Tenebria, Spectre Tenebria, right? And they'll probably release even more Tenebrias in the future because... She is the face of the game, basically. And Conquer Lilius, super broken. Uh, Sinful Angelica, also super strong for PvP and PvE for live in one shot. Whereas Remnant Violet is just meh at best. And he's not that great. And he definitely needs some buffs, but I don't think Smilegate's going to buff him for a while because there's other ML units that need buffs way more than him, right? So Remnant Violet, not that great of a unit. He is very fun to use, and he was very strong a long time ago when him and Arby were running around everywhere in defense, world arena, but nowadays he's just phased out of the meta. Not because he's gotten weaker, but because new units have been released and he's definitely gotten power crept, and you know, 
that's a separate that's a separate topic to talk about being the power creep in this game. I personally think Smilegate needs to nerf units and just hand out selectors or whatever because it is getting out of hand. But you know that's a topic for a different video. But yeah, Remnant Violet needs some help. I definitely wouldn't pull for him. But if you really like him, then pull for him. He's really has Bondo. Like his design is sick, honestly. And I really like his animations. Like I'm even considering trying to pull on his banner after I pity for um Conquer Ilias. Now talking about the four star ML Challenger Dominion. She's very strong actually um, when you go over her skills so her s3 is a crit chance buff on her entire team for three turns and this is really insane because her s3 is actually a four turn cooldown when you mola it and since it gives you an extra turn it's technically always up she'll always have that crit chance buff up so if she's the fastest on your team in pve your team will basically have the same effect as if they're with the furious where you don't need as much crit chance also gives cr push to everyone and also gives an extra turn to her like i said it's a very strong skill her S2 is going to be whenever someone makes a crit, she gets stacking, attack, and crit, and CR pushed. And when she attacks with her next attack, which is her S1, um, it'll all get dispelled after. So you kind of just charge it up, use her S1, and it goes to zero again. But this makes her S1 hit super hard. And her S1 is the highest single target S1 multiplier in the game by far, especially if you crit with it. And her soul burn makes this super strong. Like the multiplier on this is freaking insane with soul burn. Like, let me tell you, in Hell Raid, if you defense break the boss and you have in your entire team go before her and all crit with AoE attacks, she can pretty much one-shot Hell Raid bosses. It's actually kind of funny. Um, but yeah, very strong. This is a very, very good skill for PvE and PvP. In PvE, it's really good because um, in PvE, it's really good because there's no debuffs. Very strong damage deal in PvE. Very underrated because she's an ML 4-star, so she's harder to get. But she works similar to C. Lorena, except that um, she is better designed, in my opinion. And she also lowers the stat requirements of your entire team. And honestly, she's more fun to use, especially if you're manualing PvE because soul burning or S1 is so satisfying. But yeah, very good single target PvE option. In PvP, she's only used in cleave. Basically what happens is she goes second or third on the team. And what happens is her, her opener, whoever opens like Basar or Cerise, you run them on 100% crit or Faithless Lyrica even. And they all crit. And then she gets pushed up. She S3s, gives crit chance boost to your CR or your cleaver. So your cleaver doesn't need as much stat investment and crit chance. They can go full damage. CR pushes everyone else up and then, yeah, you know what happens. Also, she is a very good cleanup unit because she can hold Toggle Hell's Ancient Book and she can Soul Burn her S1 and it'll, it'll one-shot everyone, trust me. This can even one-shot tanks with no defense break and no attack buff. It's just that insane. So, yeah, very strong unit. Um, I really liked CDOM. I think CDOM was my first ML4 star in my account and I used her in all of PvE early game and she was very, very good for me. Now, is she worth... Is it worth pulling in this banner just for CDOM? Heck no, guys. You'll get CDOM eventually. She's not like a must-have anymore. I think in the past, if you wanted to cleave, she was a must-must-have. Now, she's not really a must-must-have, but she's still very good if you like cleaving. But you can get by without her, and you can pull her eventually anyways. I would not pull on the Remnant Violet banner just for CDOM, because right now you have Conqueror Ilias, right? She's just insane. I'd rather pull on that one. Uh, but if you really want CDOM, I guess if you already have Conquer Ilias, you can try pulling for this if you also don't have Remnant Violet. But honestly, both are skippable, even though CDOM is really strong. Um, on this banner, though, if you decide to pull for it, I wouldn't pull this week because Bomb Model Kana is a free to play unit from Connections after you beat her in story mode. So there's no point trying to pull because if you get Bomb Model Kana, you'll be really sad. And then Ducks Noctis is, is not that great, honestly. Kind of trash artifact for Rangers at the moment. Um, I think there's some uses for it, but I don't really like it. So yeah, if you want to pull on this banner for some reason, which is fine if you guys really like these units, then I would wait for the following week or the week after and see on the rotation for the normal hero and artifact and see if it's better. Yeah, so basically to sum up guys, Remnant Violet, not that great in the current meta. He's only really used in PvP and he's not that great. Um, CDOM is very good for cleaving and general purpose PvE, but that doesn't warrant um, that you should pull for on, on this banner just for her. Honestly, the Conqueror release banner with Sinful Angelica and you have Tenebri right now is the best bet. You should definitely pull on these um, if you can, especially if you don't have any of them. And you'll see that right now I'm at Pity, so once I get 50 more Mystics, I am pulling for this bad bit because she is insanely broken in PvP. And I honestly think she might get nerfed because a lot of people are complaining. A lot of content creators, a lot of YouTubers, a lot of streamers, a lot of RTA players are just, you know, wah wah crying about this unit. And it's kind of for good reason because she is not fun to play against. So yeah, I hope this video helped you guys out, guys. And if you guys want to see more Shuju Pool videos in the future, make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be back with another video soon. See you guys later. Peace.